Table two weren't too keen on the soup. Oh, what's that? A letter from a secret admirer? Oh, no, nothing like that. It's, it's my exam results. Exam results? I didn't know you'd been studying. Yes. Um, I've been studying for a PhD and it says here, I'm a doctor. <laughs> well done, Mary. Dr Marigold, another feather in your cap. You're so clever. What's that? You've qualified to be a doctor. Well done. Although, personally, I think the world needs more chefs than doctors. Everybody needs to eat. But well done. You've had a lucky break. Yes. You're going to be a real success. Maybe you'll be my doctor. Of course I know all about <laughs> success. I've got a track record for creating world-class food and winning numerous awards. Just ask Celia. So what's the secret to your success, Gordon? Well, um... An appreciation for food, an eye for detail, an excellent relationship with the customers. Are you sure? Yes. Now, I want you to take this to table two. It's one of my best recipes. It's always a roaring success. Hmm. Don't count your chickens before they've hatched. Don't worry, Mary. I can taste success. You won't find a doctor making something like this. Well, they're certainly eating it. There, you see? That's why I am top dog in this kitchen. Waiter! Waiter! Come quickly! Oh, no. One of the customers is lying on the floor being sick. I think he's got food poisoning. Oh, typical. Well, come on, then. You're a doctor. A doctor of philosophy, Gordon. But I'll see what I can do, as per usual. Thanks for coming in earlier than normal. I wanted to give the kitchen a good spring clean. Hopefully the others will be here soon to help. No problem. Although it was a bit of a shock to the system getting up this early. What on earth was that? I heard it too. Hang on. I'm just going to go and put the lights on. He gave me the shock of my life. Gordon, what's he doing sleeping here in the kitchen? Oh, hello, Celia. Uh, hello, Mary. Um, oh, I was just, uh... Sleeping on the floor. Gordon, you made me jump out of my skin. Sorry about that. I was just, um, uh, checking the cooker connections. Sleeping more like. The last time I saw you looking this bad was when you came home drunk from that party and I kicked you out. I, 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 I just... I, I, oh, I've been kicked out again. It happened out of the blue. I came home last night and my girlfriend, my new girlfriend, my new ex-girlfriend, she said she was sick of me coming home late and stinking of fried food. Yeah, so I can smell. Gordon, I'm stunned. I mean, I thought your girlfriend had no taste. But now I can see she has. Sorry I'm late. Oh, what's that smell? It's Gordon. He's been kicked out, so he's been sleeping here. Hang on a minute, Peter. Don't you have space at your house? Yes, I have. Well, could Gordon stay with you until he sorts himself out? Oh, what a great idea. I'd love a bit of company. You can sleep on the sofa. Is that okay? Uh, well. <laughs> That's great. Gordon, the great chef, sleeping on the sofa of the little waiter. Sounds perfect. But you're going to have to get some earplugs, Peter. Why? Well, he snores. Oh dear, oh dear. Problem, Celia? 
Well, according to my calculations, in the past two months we've only had 22 customers. I'm not sure we can afford to stay in business. Well, you gave it your best shot. But maybe it's time to say enough is enough and give up. No doubt I'll get a new job at some high-class restaurant. Oh, be quiet, Gordon, and let me think. I knew she couldn't cope. She calls herself a businesswoman, but really I'm the brains behind this business. Really? Actually, I think she's a tough cookie. And she doesn't strike me as the sort of person to give up easily. <laughs> Don't forget I used to be married to her. She might seem as tough as old boots, but she wouldn't say boo to a goose. She's as soft as a little kitten. Excuse me, you were the one who cried all the way through the royal wedding on TV. Believe me, Gordon, I'm a game old bird and I've decided to make some changes. All right, Celia, let's hear them then. Right. Well, firstly, I think we ought to extend the menu and offer more choices. That's impossible. Well, maybe for you. Well, perhaps we ought to think about staffing then. You're relentless. And what's the second point, Celia? Well, secondly, I think we ought to open earlier and try and get more customers in for lunchtime. Working longer hours, you mean? Ah, oh, tough luck, Gordon. You might think that I'm gentle as a kitten, but I'm as hard as nails and believe me, I'm not going to give up on this business yet. So go on, think of something new for the menu. Oh, tough love, Gordon. Do you want the recipe book? <laughs> So we need to talk about the restaurant. As you know, business isn't great. So I'm looking for some good ideas to make us more efficient and help us save money. Please have a think and let me know. Oh, it's obvious. Peter, we have to let you go. Mary, you can serve the food and wash up afterwards. Hold on, Gordon, that's not fair. Peter's a hard-working waiter. Besides, I've got too much to do here. No. We need to think out of the box, so to speak. Yes. Good idea, Mary. Sorry, what box? It means we need to think a bit differently. Hmm. Not just assume we need to cut people's jobs. Well, come on then, clever clogs. What are we going to do? Get cheaper ingredients? Turn the gas down a bit? I know. We can stop putting salt and pepper on the table. Nobody uses it anyway. What a brainwave! We'll save millions! You idiot! Oh, I know. We could buy organic ingredients and charge a bit extra for them. Plus, we could offer a set menu to attract new customers and hopefully they would tell their friends about how great it is here. Yes, it's the best idea since sliced bread. Is it? Sliced bread's the only thing we'll be serving with that ridiculous idea. Mary, you're too clever by half. Organic food, honestly, it's so last year. Have you got any better suggestions, Gordon? Celia, Mary's come up with a great idea. Right. Um, organic set menu and... Right. We offer a set menu to attract new customers, serving organic food that we charge a bit extra for. That's a great idea, Mary. I knew you were a smart cookie when I employed you. But I I'm going to have to change suppliers and come up with new stuff for the set menu. How is that? A clever idea. Well, extra customers means extra money, and that means an extra bonus for us all at the end of the year. Oh, well, yes, uh, organic food. That is a very clever idea of mine. I'll just go make some phone calls, shall I? like a wet weekend. <laughs> I'll keep it down with you, I'm trying to cook here. <laughs> Celia, 
it's Peter. He's feeling blue. Sort him out, will you? <coughs> oh, Peter. You seem down in the dumps. Yes. <laughs> it's Edith. She's dead. Oh. <laughs> Who's Edith? I'm not sure, but I think it's his mother. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, old chap. That's um terrible news. I understand why you're so downhearted. Were you close to Edith? Yes. I talk to her every day <laughs> and watch her go round and round. <laughs> she was a great swimmer. <laughs> oh, um, don't cry your eyes out. Worst things happen at sea. Shall I get you a glass of wine? <laughs> this must be a very upsetting time for you. Would you like some time off? <laughs> going on? Is Peter okay? It's Peter. His mother's died. He's beside himself with grief. I've given him a glass of wine. Edith. 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 Did he just say Edith? Yes. Edith is the name of his pet goldfish. <laughs> Peter? Has your goldfish died? Yes. Great! You've got a dead fish. I can use it in my fish pie. <laughs> Gordon! <laughs>